Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove one of the CIS tubes from one CIS cartridge to a new one. Uh, in order to do this, you're going to have to know how to remove the tubing from this system that has the tubing hooked up to it and match the colors here and reinsert them back into this tubing. Uh, one way to go about doing this is um, you might receive some cartridges that look like this already. So in order to kind of get this started, you might want to remove anything that's obstructing the cartridges with the tube. So you're going to want to remove this part here. Usually you push down one way and it snaps into place. So you kind of push down or up, you should be able to squeeze this out. Now that you have the cartridges alone by themselves, you want to do the same for the cartridges you want to replace. So I'm going to push down and then pull up. This will come off easily. I'm going to take this wire off. So now that we have everything uh, unobstructed, we're going to go ahead and show you the methods of replacing it. What I like to do is you might receive it like this with these stoppers onto the elbows that are already inside the cartridges. I like removing these first. So for the ones you want to replace, we're going to go ahead and remove the black one first. I'm going to pull this out. You want to leave the grommet in there, which is a good idea because that's going to be used to reinsert the new tube onto the cartridge. Make sure you are wearing some gloves to prevent any spills because you will get a little dirty from the ink. So you have a grommet here and you don't want to push this in with the grommet because this going in with the grommet stuck here might actually insert the grommet into the cartridge so you, you don't want to do that. So the easiest way is to remove each elbow with the stopper and I'll do it for each color. Whoops. Here we go, magenta. Last one yellow. And this would be the same method for any other type of cartridge that might look different from this. They have the same setup with the grommet here and then the, as you can see, an elbow right here. It's an L-shaped elbow. The longer part of the L goes down into the cartridge. And a stopper that kind of just plugs up anything so you don't have to worry about it spilling. Usually you could save those for parts. As for the transfer, you want to make sure that these are going to be the same color. So this one's let me zoom in and focus. You can see this one's black, yellow, magenta, cyan. This one's black, cyan, magenta, yellow. So you don't want to screw this up. In this scenario, I'm doing it with two different types of printer cartridges. But usually if you get a replacement, it would be the same order and you just have to kind of just jimmy rig it together. So first, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. The best way to do this is kind of angle it so when you're pulling the tube out, you want to tilt it immediately upwards. Notice how the, the grommet came out. We don't want that because we already have it in the other cartridge. If you point it upwards, the ink won't spill out of the tubing. And I like holding the ink tanks lower than the cartridges so the ink isn't going to flush right out of the system. So I'm going to go ahead and insert this into the new black cartridge. And he might be splitting the lines a little bit. So I'm just going to split just for the sake of this video. You don't have to when you do yours. Next color is cyan. So I'm going to take the cyan out. Take that grommet out. Again, you don't want to have the grommet inserted into the, into the cartridge with the elbow because it will cause it to suck into the cartridge itself and that's going to be a bigger issue. So I'm going to do magenta next. Sorry, I need to find some space here. So you watch me pull this out and I'm going to angle it upwards at a 45 degree angle. Pull it out, hold it upwards, push this into the new cartridge. In. And the last one is yellow. Pull it up. The grommet came out this one. We don't want to push this in together. And then 
put this in here. Now that we have all the lines secured, you might notice that some of the lines might be longer than the others because I'm using two different cartridge models. Usually if they had the same matching colors, this wouldn't be the case. You could snip this off and reattach the tubes from the elbow. You can actually pull the tube off like this. And all it really does is go into the shorter end of that L-shaped elbow. So you can just snip this and then push this back in in case you wanted to do that. Kind of make sure it's securely in there. So in this scenario, I'm going to just kind of hold it down like this. And then you want to take your battery clip. Excuse me. Want to take your battery clip, just put it in one way. Push it in, snaps into place. And we're able to replace the cartridges here, as you can see. And push that wire back in, and there we go. We actually have replaced the cartridges. Uh, in this scenario, like I said, the tubing looks kind of weird, but you can just kind of pull it through so it sits flush with the cartridges. If there's no ink, you want to make sure you can prime it. Watch our other videos. If you have any other questions or issues, feel free to call us or contact us on our website, cisinks.com. Thank you for watching.